Shortly after her arrival in Thunder Bay in 1993, Kathy Williams decided to pursue a police career. And it was during her police college training that she had the opportunity to take in a boxing match that featured female competitors. When she returned from her training, she sought out the Thunder Bay Amateur Boxing Club and Tony Pimentel, who was one of the top coaches in the country. Taking to the ring at Dog's Gym, there was only one other female boxer at the club during those early years. So this early pioneer of women's boxing spent a good deal of her time training and sparring with the men. Dedicating herself to training and establishing her own unique left-handed style, she soon found herself in Minnesota for her first fight. Given the nickname, Shake'em Down Williams by her coach, she fluctuated between bantam and featherweight classes and competed in several matches throughout 1994. Her hard work paid off, going on to win her first of what would be multiple provincial titles. 1995 would prove to be a breakout year. Bringing home her second title from the provincial championships, she also claimed gold at the Canadian Novice Boxing Championships and was named the best prospect at the tournament. She repeated her winning ways in 1996, claiming her third consecutive provincial crown and the national title at the first Canadian Senior Women's Championship and was named the best boxer at that event. Her outstanding abilities earned her a spot on the 1997 Canadian women's team where she represented her country at matches in Sweden and Finland. Coming out on top in both of her bouts, she was named the best Canadian boxer at the event. Having achieved all she could at the amateur level, given that boxing for women didn't make its Olympic appearance until 2012, Kathy closed out her amateur career in 1998 with a record of 25 wins and 6 losses and turned her attention to the professional ring. Unlike her first amateur bout, she handily won her professional debut, earning a technical knockout in the second round against Jamie Blair in Minneapolis. And her second match was televised live on ESPN from Atlantic City and it went six rounds, with her opponent hitting the mat on three occasions, leading to a unanimous decision. At the 1998 Miller Time Texas Championship, she faced former IFBA bantamweight champion Yvonne Trevino and had the crowd on its feet going six rounds and once again earning a clear decision. The following year, Kathy, or The Shadow as she came to be known, took to the ring eight times in venues all across North America, with many of her opponents bowing out early and her first pro fight in Canada lasting under two minutes. Going into a match in Pennsylvania with a record of 6-0, she lost to Jamila Lawrence in the fourth round unanimous decision, but she did have the opportunity to meet the legendary boxer Larry Holmes, and that made that loss a little less hard to take. Other highlights from her 1999 season included winning the North American Professional Boxing Council Junior Bantamweight Trophy, North American Boxing Federation crown, and claiming her second consecutive Miller Lite Texas State crown. Going into the year 2000 with a record of 10-1 and, and ranked number one in the world in the junior bantam 115-pound class, she took on world champion Daisy Lang for the Women's Intercontinental Boxing Federation Bantamweight title in a match in Germany. Much to the crowd's dismay, Lang was awarded a unanimous decision in the 10-round matchup. Six months later in Hawaii, she went on to win the Women's International Boxing Association World Junior Bantamweight title in a 10-round unanimous decision over Denver's Tracy Moulton. One of Thunder Bay's finest was a world champion boxer and her community is definitely pretty proud of that fact. With the closure of Dog's Gym in 2001, it was growing more and more difficult for this world-class athlete to train and her boxing career began to slow down. Defending her Texas state crown for a fifth and final time in 2001, she took to the ring two more times before hanging up her gloves in 2003 leaving behind a professional boxing record of 13 wins, 5 losses, with 4 KOs. She also gave back to sport by utilizing the skills and knowledge she gained playing basketball at Bishops by serving as a coach with the Lakehead University women's basketball team and the Junior Wolves and as a referee at the local, provincial and national level. But it's her success as a pioneer in the sport of women's boxing that this outstanding athlete has left her mark in the history book having represented her community and her country with distinction at the highest level of her sport.